Hello plant people, it's Nora the Lekker Queen here. Thank you for joining me on my channel where we talk about all things indoor plants. Today we are going to be looking at my Syngonia Mojito. Now you will all know how much I love my Syngonia Mojito. Look at that gorgeousness. Look at how mottled those leaves are and how just glorious they look. And look at how full this plant is. This plant is really, really loving life. Now you will remember um, probably a couple of months ago, I took a cutting from this plant. Uh, there. I took a cutting from there because I want to make this plant even bushier than it actually is. I took that cutting and I put it in my Clonix clone solution to root. And this is what we've got. So this is a new root. These are new roots and those are all new roots. So that plant is ready to go back into the main pot. And I'm going to show you how I do that. Now, how do you know when to pot up your cutting? I like to, so, People say your roots need to be at least two or three inches long. And I also like to use the secondary root method. So I like my primary roots to have secondary roots. So I want my roots to have roots. And then when those roots have roots, then I'm ready to put it up. So I'll show you what I mean. So this right here is what I would be calling a primary root. This is what I'd be calling a primary root. Now, if you look at this one, it actually has these teeny tiny roots on there. I'm not sure if you can actually see them properly, but they're teeny, teeny, tiny. So these roots are actually coming off the primary root. There, see, look. So this root is actually quite mature and this cutting is now ready to go back in with the mother plant to create a bushier look. So what I will be doing with this particular plant is taking this plant out of this lecker and then attaching this cutting to this pole and then I will repot the whole thing. Of course, it's so much easier when you're working with a plant that's in soil because all you need to do is make a hole, put the cutting in and you're done. Um, lecker makes it a bit more complicated, but it's good because I take it as an opportunity to inspect the roots of the main plant, hey, since I'm there, see everything that's going on, if everyone's okay, and if some of the roots are dead or dying, take all that off, give the plant a wash, just do some general rehab, and then everybody's happy. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna take this plant out of this pot and just inspect the roots. So let's do that now. So this is my plant here. That's my label. Of course, labels are very important, as you know. I will then very carefully tip that out. And I've got my pot here. And this is the plant. So as you can see, that is the root system for this plant. So I'm just gently shaking the lecker off and wanting to inspect all those roots. As you can see, some of the roots are quite dark. It's very possible that these roots are dead or dying. And that's what would be, say, those that's actually just easily come off. So what I will do with this particular plant is I will take it outside and just go and wash off all these um, sort of dead or dying roots. And that just gives that plant some nice rehab. And when we're putting up our cutting, this plant is nice and healthy. So I will be right back. So I'm back from washing my plant and a few of the dead roots actually did come off. I did have a lot of stuff come off that was not viable. And this is what my plant now looks like. So all those are healthy roots that are happy to go back into the lecker. I mean, if you want at this stage, you could actually change the lecker over, but I'm not going to do that today, largely because I don't have any lecker that is ready because I didn't plan that I was going to do this, you know, and um, this lecker is still fine. It's clean. I just 
um, recently flushed it so there's no need to change it at this stage. So what I'm now going to do is get this cutting, attach it to this moss pole and then pot all this up back into my grower's pot. So I've got my plant here and there are some uh, plant ties that I use to attach these other plants to the moss pole. So I'm just grabbing one of those and I'm going to use that to attach this new cutting to the pole. So making sure as always that the roots are not touching the moss and are right at the bottom where the plant is going to be in contact with the leka. So for this particular plant, I want to position my cutting here and you can see the roots are there right next to all the other roots. So all I do is just grab my plant tie and there we are. That one there is the new cutting and those are the other plants that are already there. So now I will simply put this pot, this plant back into the pot. So I'll put that over there. I did get a clean pot, you know. So I put about, I get about a third, I'll put left out about a third of the way. Grab my plant and position it where I want it to be. So that is a good position. You can see the moss starts there so that's exactly where I want it to be. I spread my roots out inside the leka and all I do now is start to fill up that pot. I don't know why I'm doing it this way because I am right-handed. So let's do that. That's better. I could actually leave that. So just a nice squeeze to make sure that that leka goes everywhere that we need it to go. Making sure you don't forget that dead space over there. So I have potted up my cutting and that will start to grow and that will look even more lush than it does right now. So just take a look at that. That is my Syngonium Mojito. So I'll put this back into its cash pot and fuel, and fuel that with growth technology uh, foliage focus and that will grow, grow and grow. So next time I show you my mojito, she will be lush, lush, lush as anything. Well, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Thanks, bye.